down to 60 degrees with rain showers in the area. Lights are on. We're set for baseball. For Nick Pavetta, he's really been outstanding. Really solidified himself now here in this rotation. Fastball 96 as he continues to rack those up. He blows away Benny. Swing and a miss at a high fastball. He challenged them, and Benny was late. Up and away. And he swings and hits a bounding ball to the shortstop. Easy hop for Trevor. Throws on the move as always and gets it. One, two, three after half an inning. Chicago nothing. Red Sox coming up. 7 8 record for Dylan C. He's a 485 ERA is way up there for him. That's abnormal to say the least. You'd like him to be no higher than four, but it's been an off year except for in the strikeout category. Cease goes one, two, three after an inning from Fenway. Nothing, nothing. Here's Yoshida now, 285, fifth overall, despite that average of 285. Line drive and a base hit center field. Massa coming alive here the last couple of games. Put a great swing on that one. Got a run on that swing. There's the first hit of the ball game. Two down, and the batter will be and Manuel Valdez. Valdez sends one to center. Run for Robert. Catches it chest high. He'll get to anything. Will Luis Robert Jr. This is an opportunity for Nick Pavetta to really cook today. You can really mow down some hitters on a day like today if you're Nick Pavetta. That one hammered toward the gap on his horse. Rafaela runs it down. Nice play. Every once in a while, you just get a glimpse of what an elite center fielder this kid can be. And they go one, two, three. Eight, nine, and one for the Red Sox against. Dylan Cease and Bobby Dahlbeck at the plate. Swing and a miss by Dahlbeck, and that's strikeout number one for Cease. He came into the day four from 200. Now three to go. 2 2 gets him. There's that slider. Second strikeout, back to back punch outs, and now two more till 200. Brings up Raffaella. 0 for 1. He has popped up foul to first. Raffaella lines one into left field. That's a base hit. He's racing around first. Raffaella is going to try for second. The throw from Benintendi is wide and Raffaella is into second base standing. That's something we saw Duran do over and over again. Hit one anywhere near the alley and it was an automatic double. What an inning he is having. We got the Raffaella hit. Now we need the Devers bomb. 2 2. That'll help too. Check swing. Cease got him. Three strikeouts in the inning. One more makes it two hundo for Dylan Cease on the year. No score to the fourth inning. Andrew Benintendi still a very popular guy when he comes back to Fenway. 3 1 count here though. So advantageous. And Andrew takes advantage. Dunked into center. Sox have their first hit of the day. It's Benintendi's. And with one down, here comes Eloy Jimenez. Fly to left in his first trip. Now drills one to left off the green monster. Benintendi digging for third. The slide. He's in there as the ball gets away. Eloy makes it first and third for the White Sox. Well, that's really nice, aggressive base running by Benintendi. Give the Sox a chance right here, right? Runners on the corners. Just one out. Juan Moncada, the hitter. Cut on and missed with the fastball. Struck him out. Two down. There it is. That's the big strikeout from Nick. Sends up the first baseman, Vaughn. Right at the shortstop, Trevor Story. He'll go to second of the force play. Good work by Pavetta to get out of that. Pitches out of a jam. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Red Sox up against the man who finished second in the Cy Young voting in the American League last year. Dylan Cease. Justin Turner's 0 for 1. This pitch is driven into left. Benintendi will watch it off the wall. Plays the high bounce. Turner rounding into second. The throw is in time and it gets him. Andrew Benintendi played that like a vet. And guns down Turner at second. Turner thought he had a double. Benintendi played the carom again just perfectly to pick up an outfield assist. It'll go seven to four. There it is. A strikeout at the bottom of the zone with a fastball, and Dylan Cease has his 200th of the season. Now just the third pitcher in White Sox history to get 203 consecutive seasons. Two down for Yoshida. Liner, that one into right field. Sheets has to give chase onto the warning track. Yoshida quickly into second base with a stand up double. He's two for two. Yoshida looking good at the plate. And here now Trevor Story lined to left his first time. Sends Story to the ground on a swinging strikeout. Five for Cease. No score in Boston. Only 55 pitches through four innings. Walked only one man and four Ks. So with one out, here's Lenin Sosa. Sosa shoots one in the right. Backhanded there. Wow. Kind of a risky play by Verdugo, but he made it look easy. Well, he, he, he got lucky, there's no doubt, because with the wet grass and it's going to skip. Runner taking off again. Waved at and missed. Here's the throw down. The tag. He's out. 
Cut him down at second, and they will not challenge. He's gone. That's an impressive throw by Reese McGuire. He's been throwing the ball real well as the year has gone on. This is a slow curve ball, too. The catch and release. He got rid of it so quick, put it right in the money. So two away, and now three away. Got that sweeper in there to strike him out. Breaking ball in there, strike three to retire the side. Dylan Cease back out for another inning of work. He'll face Justin Turner. Takes a strike on a fastball there. He's right down Main Street. Eight strikeout for Cease. One down here in the Red Sox sixth. Swing and a miss. Hey. Three strikeouts in a row. Dylan's got nine. Moss is the one guy who's figured him out so far. A single and a double. Two one, another base hit. This one to the opposite field from Massa. So going back to last night, he's four for his last four. Two singles and a double today. Yoshida at second. Swing and a miss. He got him on the fastball. He's had the fastball, and it has been setting down these Red Sox hitters. Seventh inning, no score. Up the middle, Valdez off balance. Yeah, a nice pick there by Bobby Dahlbeck for out number one. Well, that was a beautiful play all around. Did very well to range to his right to backhand that and then sidearm throw one hop and Dahlbeck did very well to pick it. Liner and a nice diving play by Valdez on the grass and right. Timed it perfectly. So he's been part of back to back outstanding plays. Valdez just runs this thing down. It's off the end. It's kind of hooking away from him. It really times this nicely. This is a nice play. Yeah, and struck him out. They go in order. Some defense to boot. And the inning is over, and Pavetta, like he so often does, is storming off the mound, standing tall. We are scoreless, and Aaron Bummer is on to work for the White Sox in 59 games, a 7.11 ERA. And that's outside for ball four. So he's walked back to back man to begin the eighth. A golden chance for the Red Sox to get on the scoreboard with Justin Turner approaching the plate. Got him swinging on the sweeper. Bummer battles back and gets a huge first out. Line drive into center right at Luis Robert who now comes in to make the catch. Tagging but not going is Rafaela. So now two away and Aaron Bummer is one out from escaping back to back walks to start the eighth. One one softly hit to first. Backhanded by Vaughn, and he grabs the bag for out number three. Aaron Bummer battles back and keeps it scoreless. Winkowski into his second inning in a nothing nothing game. Figured it would be played like this. And a cautionary tale here in Robert Jr., 37 home runs. He's 0 for 3 today. 0 1 shot to right. This could be trouble, and it's fair. A home run. Pesky's pole benefits the White Sox. Luis Robert Jr. with home run number 38, the shortest home run he'll ever hit. We may take a look at this. The umpire and crews gathered, but we've seen it a few times here. Well, I see as a home run, and I don't see anything at all that After is going to tell us different. The field is confirmed. It is a home run. Confirmed. White Sox do take the lead. Luis Robert Jr. as the rain intensifies Brian Shaw is on to protect and save a one nothing White Sox lead two down ninth inning Red Sox are down to their last man here Reese McGuire swinging a liner to left field Benintendi it plays in front of him down for a base hit Reyes into second and stopping there the Red Sox are still kicking first and second with two down well, Red Sox came from behind in the eighth inning last night to grab the win. And now trying to do it in the ninth inning. Got him swinging. Brian Shaw ends the ninth with a strikeout of Sedan Rafaela and the White Sox, courtesy of that man and the pesky pole, win a 1-0 ball game.